Scott Staley. I'm Chief Engineer for Fuel Cell and Hybrid Vehicle Technology Development at Ford Motor Company. And what I'm standing beside is called the High Series Drive. And this shows you what's under basically the skin of that vehicle. In the front we have an electric motor. In the back we have an electric motor. Those are produced by Siemens VDO. Down the center of it we have mounted a hydrogen storage tank. We store gaseous hydrogen at pressures 5,000 or 10,000 PSI. The power is provided to the electric motors through a lithium ion battery pack, 130 kilowatt battery pack, and the battery is recharged by a Ballard Power Systems auxiliary power unit, which is a fuel cell using the hydrogen fuel to power the batteries. The vehicle operates initially as an electric vehicle. It'll go about 25 miles running only on the battery, at which time the control system senses the battery needs recharge and it'll turn on the fuel cell, take hydrogen out of the tank to generate electricity, which then recharges the battery. The braking functions on the vehicle also recharge the battery, so as you brake, instead of wasting that energy as heat, that energy regenerates electricity, which again is used to, to charge the battery. The total range of this vehicle using all of the hydrogen in the tank and all of the energy in the battery would be somewhere between 225 to 250 miles. One thing about this particular vehicle is it has a plug-in capability, which means if I drive less than 25 miles in any one day, I would only be using battery energy and I would not be using any hydrogen at all which would delay the time at which I would have to go back to a hydrogen station and refuel the vehicle. So for people who have a, a short commute uh, each day, they might be running purely on electric power, which they would recharge from their home every night. The fuel cell power unit uses hydrogen and air to produce electricity and water. So we call this a zero emission vehicle because the only thing emitted from the tailpipe is water vapor. We're designing these vehicles to perform equivalent to existing technology. So for example, if you have a class of vehicle, like the Edge vehicle that we drove with this system in, we'll try to match the performance of the fuel cell version of this to the gasoline IC engine version. So whether you're using hydrogen, gasoline, ethanol, methanol, the powertrain will be sized to produce the performance that people come to expect in any particular class of cars.